Hello, welcome back to the basic programming tutorial. Let us see another program. In this program, we are going to see some more calculation. So, tenth statement, the very first statement, it is rem remark, and so we can write the title of the program some more some more calculations in the 20th statement mm. CLS I wanted to clear the screen and we need a fresh screen fresh and clean screen for getting giving the values or getting the results so next is print statement let me read some values from the user so I'll be giving I'll be giving a message to the user. Enter a number. And in the 40th statement, input input statement is used to read some value from the keyboard. And in the 50th statement, I am doing some calculation that is um, SQ square. Let's square equal to SQ. A, all those things are some variables. Variable in the sense when we use some values, when we give some values to the computer system those values will be saved somewhere in the computer's memory RAM, random access memory and each and every location of the random access memory there will be some address for each and every unit where the values are stored but we will not be able to use those values those areas directly instead of that we will be using some names those names are called variables when you enter a value, that value will be stored somewhere and that will value can be used with the reference of the name A. In the same way, I am using SQ here so that the calculated value will be assigned uh, to this SQ. That value will be stored somewhere in the computer's memory and that memory area can be referred with the help of this variable SQ. That means variables are some uh, references to the storage locations or variables are some containers which can hold some values so sq equal to i can do the calculation sq equal to a into a the multiplication operation is star so uh, the square is a into a and in the 60th statement i am going to print it out print within the quotation the square square of square of a is sq and that's all I just want to display the square of a number which you have given and that's the end of the program. Let me end this program by giving end at the last statement for this program. So for running this program, press F5, enter a number. It's asking for a number. I'm giving 5, 5, 5, sir, 25. Okay, the square of 5 is 25. So there is a lot of gap in between before 5, after 5, before 25 and all. Okay, the difference is if you give a comma, here instead of a semicolon so comma or semicolon can, can be used for separating the variables if you wanted to print many items for the separation of these items you can use comma or semicolon okay let me use semicolon everywhere and run this program see the difference enter a number I'm going to enter this time 9 and the answer is 81 okay we are getting a comfortable space in between if I change these semicolons with commas everywhere 
and see the difference and array number 6 36 see we are getting a quite lot of space in between the comma is used to separate and it is giving a tab space tab space tab space is the space non printable character space which we will get when we press the tab key in the keyboard and if you use semicolon it will be printed immediately after one item next item will be printed immediately after the other item okay those things are uh, are the printing features but if you consider this program we are entering one number through the input and that value which we are entering will be saved in the variable a and a into a that's a square that's stored in the variables sq and it is being printed here the value of a is be, uh, the value of a is being printed as well as the value of square is being printed the square of that value is this value in that format we will be getting the result okay again uh, 8 64 so if you want to find the square of some numbers we can use this program to find the square of any number this program is very simple please try this program by yourself and run it and see and you can do your own modifications and try it out if you have any doubt regarding this program please feel free to write to me my email id is it underscore teacher one at yahoo.com thank you for watching this video bye